Green have ended Hibbs' unbeaten start to the season. Quite some achievement and a really impressive performance, you would have to say, as well from the Dons. Lewis Ferguson's penalty decisive late in the first half after Marley Watkins was fouled by Martin Boyle. He won't be wanting to see the concession of the penalty back again anytime soon, uh, the Hibs player. But it was uh, dispatched with real confidence from the spot by Ferguson. And that has proved to be the only goal of the game. But over the piece, you would look back over the, the performance, Stevie Cowan, and uh, think that Aberdeen have uh, thoroughly deserved this. I don't think anybody could question that they, they did deserve the three points, you know, apart from the first 15, 20 minutes in the game when Hibbs did create those chances and there was a bit of uncertainty and I don't think Aberdeen quite, you know, could get the uh, the hold of the shape of Hibbs midfield, particularly in the wide areas, but certainly, you know, from the last 15, 20 minutes of the first half, they got the goal, as you said, and into the second half then they just did, did, did dominated the game and uh, I think um, Derek McInnes will be really, really pleased. Yep, so Aberdeen head into the uh, international break um, on the back of four straight wins in all competitions. And, uh, well, it has been just that slowly uh, block-building exercise, game-to-game, -game, little bits of improvement. It was very rusty to begin with after that 19-day break uh, between the Rangers game and the St Johnston game. Um, Aberdeen... Maybe carried a bit of luck in Perth, but they got the only goal of the game, that deflected shot from Ryan Hedges. But the performances are clearly becoming better. And, and, and to, to beat Hibs and to limit them to so, many, to so few opportunities today, Stevie, I think probably tells you about how far they've come. Yeah, it certainly is, and you know, and players have to adapt to certain situations and you know certain formations. And obviously, when new players come in, you know, we've talked about obviously Ross McCrory already. You know, Marley Watkins came into the club as well. He had a little bit of success in the first half, particularly by a couple of shots. Ryan Hedges, you know, coming to the fore after his his European exploits. And as we spoke about, you know, the the bench and now again Curtis Main, they come on and contributed in the second half as well. Uh, Dylan McGeek as well, some nice touches. So I think you know Derek McInnes, the manager, was saying got. A good squad here where fitness is better but more importantly all points in the bag and it's absolutely brilliant to go into a, a break knowing that you've done really really well and you can concentrate in the next two weeks and maybe building what you're going to do for the next five or six games does the break in a way come at a bad time for, for Aberdeen because you've just got a little bit of momentum going I mean I suppose whatever it's a happy situation to be in considering where they've been in the last few weeks. Yeah, you know, people talk about it's a good time, bad time, you know, but we've known for the last, you know, few years international football comes thick and fast and you get weekends off. But I think Denny McInnes, you know, for people carrying any knocks or injuries, you know, Marley Watkins went off there with a, a, a knock in his leg. They get a chance to recover, but also as well for getting some other people maybe, you know, lacking fitness, get them up to speed. And I'm sure there'll be one or two friendly games played for the guys who are not away in international duty so they can just keep up the fitness and the sharpness.